Good afternoon, boys and girls, children of all ages. Today's a special day because today is moving day. <laughs> How are we doing? Yeah, Hanging in there? Yeah, you're alright? Yeah, yeah, alright. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have a chat to the postman, alright? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> we are trying to get Sarah Jane and as yet unnamed BMW, so we'll put that out there soon, into the back of this van. I bought, thank you very much, buddy. It's been a pleasure. See you in a bit. So I bought many harnesses, many, many, thanks, Amazon. And we're gonna try and get this on there, strapped to these little side bits. Welcome to Men versus Van. This will be the moment we capture me getting crushed by the bike. So at least if we do perish, we've got it on camera. Are you on? You balanced? Yeah, you're gonna go turn that. You've not flicked it! It's isolated in the cab. I just tried on Bailey. That's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, the actual lorry's going down. Oh. I've got it. Have you got, got it? it? I've got it. What are you doing? I'm holding that so you don't go backwards. <sighs> right. You just need to turn that. Is that enough lock? Oh, Jesus Christ. Can I lift it up by this wheel? Can I lift it up by here? No, the pot's going! It's not going, it's not going. Wait. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, you pull it! Don't pull it! Why are you pulling it that way? There's no stand that side. It should have fallen over if you pull it that way. I've got it. You've got this, Yeah, yeah. Do you, what, you've been scaring me! I thought you were going to drop it on yourself. No! Oh, there's no way that one's going on like that. We've got it on here, and you've got the back wheel yeah. and edged it. It's not easy. If we get her on backwards, Mark, in his wisdom, is going to wrap the back wheel and drag. So we're going to lift and slide. Lift and slide. If this goes wrong, you're about to see a fully grown adult man cry like a little baby. I'm make sure we don't pull in opposite directions this time. But I was trying to save you breaking a leg. That's all I was trying to do. That was good. <laughs> Feeling confident? Nope. You are my phone a friend on any game show, so... Go on, this is, I feel confident, mate. Go on. Yeah? Yeah. Do you reckon it's going to work? Nope. Don't right. say no now. <laughs> Ready? No. Oh, go on, girl. What's that doing? Yeah. Right, one second. Come to me. Come to me. Stop there. I can go forward. A bit. No, it's alright. Don't right. go forward. No, I can a bit. Why? Because I can. Come on. Good girl. Mate, do I know my shit? You can't tell the good man. I would never have thought that. Oh, look at her. Gorgeous, sexy little beastie. We are but men, rock. It is. There's What's somewhere, that? missed there, are the two girls sleeping and packed in. So that's it. We're done. Rack it. Two men, one van. Uh, I'm quite proud of us. Yep. Off to the new digs. So this is it for the next hundred and so miles. Twelve. We miles. thought we'd van man it up as much as possible. So we've got a woolly hat on with a bobble. Windows down. Billetong jerky. That'll keep us going. So it's right arm on the door, left hand on the wheel. Look at the road only occasionally. Occasional road looking and then, oi! Oh, right, darling! Oh, he gives a jiggle! Makes a sandwich! Lovely! 100 miles. 112. Woo! So today is a very special day and mid-move we are back up north. So we've been down south to come back, to go back down for the second day of moving. But we're at Mitten Hall today, which if you don't know the Ribble Valley, Mitten Hall is a little bit of a special place. It's a vast old building, it's got some cool architectural features, but more importantly, today it's gonna house my granddad who's turning 99. Show you now. You're gonna be the one that, or you have to be the one that 
safe You've always been the one, yeah, that'll never change Bright like the sun, but real like the rain Yeah, your head stays numb, but your heart feels pain You wanna stay young, but you feel the time So, we now video these And then put that up on so, YouTube But you know there's been a lot of people wishing you a happy birthday online Who follow us All over the world, wishing you a happy birthday That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah <laughs> Pops, this is this is for the YouTube. She was on it. So you're 99 years old. You've been on this earth nearly 100 years. You've been through a war. You've raised this idiot. We've had fun. How are you feeling? Oh, well, mustn't grumble. Mustn't grumble. And that is the that is the line of the day. No matter what's going on, we mustn't grumble. <laughs> So after a cracking night out, I'm gonna go get this mopper top chopped and Lane is about to go get her teeth fixed. She's gone through the smile tree, which we're both going through, while you straighten it with Invisalign. And now she's gonna go and get these bits Little like, lined out. So yeah. taking away Vampiro and replacing it with Mr. Ed. <laughs> and we'll have a look at the after when you later. That is so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so we are back and we're back with our man Harris, the man with the plan. Now, obviously, I've moved like two hours away. That doesn't mean that you're not gonna not gonna see this man because obviously my granddad's still up here, I'm gonna come and see him every two weeks, and every two weeks we're gonna come and see the man with the plan. We might have a little something something in the old hair product game coming your way. Mysterious girl, I want to get close uh, to you. Stick to filming, mate. <laughs> no, Does anybody remember uh, when you still have this centre part in curtains? Do you remember? And if you didn't get it perfectly centred, it just was not good enough. <laughs> Look at this. Remember oh. this? <laughs> See, this is how much Harris cares for me. He saw a traffic warden coming to get me, and he saved me. Honestly, though. Traffic wardens, I honestly believe, are the devil. You keep walking, sister. You keep walking. Actually, I don't know why I've given my keys to Harris to move my car, because I've known Harris a few years, and in those few years, he's wrecked about four cars. This is why they say that I'm wild. Hey, dog, bitches get wild. Hey, mask on my face and still smile. Hey, who the fuck I want to be boss? And there we go. Job Fresh, done. trimmed, job done, ready for that flight to LA. Getting there now, the hair's nearly there, but this is not the final product. New series means new hair. So there'll be new hair, maybe new products, but same barber. Same old. <laughs> So here we are, we've arrived in LA. It's breakfast time with apparently an evil unicorn. <laughs> it's Halloween! <laughs> and I wanted to finish this vlog off with a little section on dealing with kind of missing the gym because you've got a little bit sick, you can get that man flu because before coming here, I got hit by a cold and then during the move, I had to move things in the rain and then we've been in an airplane which always messes with your sinuses and basically I ended up with the dreaded Man flu. But I'm a survivor and I'm going to tell you how to survive too. So one of the major things people struggle with is having to take time off the gym because they feel like they're going backwards rather than forwards. But here's the thing you need to remember. If you are ill and you go in and train, what you're doing is beating your immune system down and that can actually help prolong the sickness. So sometimes if you're feeling like you've got a head cold, which I find are the worst ones, don't go to the gym, take that respite. And just remember, you can't lose in days what you've spent months and years building. It doesn't work like that. You're gonna look a little softer taking a few days off because that kind of glycogen retention within the muscles, your water balance and everything is gonna change because you're not being as active as normal. So you're not gonna have that maintained fullness because you're not stimulating the body by sitting and resting. But just because you look a little bit softer in the mirror, don't have so many kind of veins or cuts going on, that doesn't mean you're losing muscle, you're just softening off. It's just either you've reduced the amount of glycogen in your body or because you've been eating but not being as active, that glycogen could spill over into the subcutaneous and make you hold a little bit more water than normal. But again, it's just softening you off. It's just the way it looks. It's an acute reaction. It's not permanent and it's not muscle loss, so don't worry. 
You can help bolster the immune system by taking BCAAs. This is a great time to take BCAAs. That's when you are ill and take them in between meals. Don't take them with meals, makes it redundant. But by keeping those BCAAs in there, it means that you can help get that immune system function back on track and help that recovery period. Another important one is consistency with your supplements like creatine. Obviously, now, you know, I'm an advocate of this. This is one of the greatest supplements you can buy for bang for buck and just the amount of research that's been done onto it. I use the EHP Create 8. You can use this cheeky little code here to help your boy out, plus save yourself 10% on all of those purchases. Advert over! But all serious notes, make sure that you keep in things like creatine or beta alanine or supplements that don't work directly and work over time because if you stop taking them all that time of building them up into your system and helping them get them in there you're then going backwards on that you should still take them even though you're not training because they are one of those that requires build up within the system and to be there to be maintained so don't stop taking your creatine don't stop taking your vitamins and don't stop taking things like beta alanine or anything like that Pre-workouts when going back into the gym after being sick might not be the best idea unless you go for a stim free version my favorite for the non-stim pre-workout got to be the PSI in Fruit Punch. Now, the reason for this is if you overly stimulate yourself, you go into the gym and you're stimmed out, you feel like you're good to go, you smash that gym session, but what you're actually doing was going more than what your body wanted to do because you've got that kind of false energy from all the stimulants, that can sometimes set you back. So when you go back into the gym, make sure that you go back in and only push the body as far as it feels good. So if you start to feel like you're struggling to breathe, your heart rate's suddenly jumping up, just back down a little bit, take longer rest periods and grind those sessions out just a little bit longer than you would normally. Once you feel back to normal again, everything go back to 100% intensity, but make sure that you allow the body that recovery time that it needs. And last but not least, and probably the primary, should have probably said this before, food. Make sure that you are still eating enough. Don't back down on the food because even though you're not working out, you think, oh, I better cut the calories. You need those calories to heal. So if you're in a deficit, bring your calories back up to maintenance, allow that body to heal. If you're already in a surplus, you could come down to maintenance if you're in an excessive surplus, but if it's only gonna be a few days, if you think it's like a just a, a bug and it's only gonna last 48 hours, keep that food up, let the body recoup, and remember, you're just gonna look a little bit softer because you're probably gonna spill over a little bit because you're not using the same amount of carbs or calories that you were day to day normally, so you're just gonna get a little bit maybe of that water retention, but don't worry, two days back in the gym, three max, and I promise you, you'll be looking back to normal, it'll look like nothing ever changed. So that's it for this video. I hope it's helped you out. I hope it's helped curb some of those worries about maybe having to take some time off the gym. But as you can see, we're here in LA. The sun is beasting. We're going to go and hit up a little bit of Disneyland for Halloween today. It is my birthday this week, so we're going to do some cool stuff while we're out here. Plus, meet up with some of that LA gang. One person I'm intending to meet out here is a fight specialist, an absolute savage when it comes to technique and helping to teach people how to punch, kick, elbow, and do bag work properly. And I'm going to be doing a video with him to help you guys learn how to do the bag, give you some beginner tutorials, some beginner routines routines and some technique expertise from somebody who knows way more than me. So hopefully as well, I'm going to be learning a few things to start my new journey in that new series that starts in November. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for making it to the end. If you did make it, hit me with a thumbs up, hit me with any comments, any questions you might have. And I'll catch you in the next video. Boom, baby. Lately I've been doing shit different Cooking like a chef, I've been all up in the kitchen Had to make a move, had to make a little distance Lot of people tripping, they could never see the vision Fuck that, tell them bouncing